Hello, Abby World. So, Ms. Dell figured it out. You were just missing a little tiny step. So, I am going to record everything and hopefully you guys could follow through with your Excel version. Remember, each version of Excel might be slightly different. So, you got to be aware of this one. Um, what I have is the most updated one, the 2016. But I believe the last version is also the same. Okay, how do you do this? Uh, let's make sure you are able to see your options on the top. Highlight your percent mass change with your molarities. Keep in mind we want the average change in mass and your molarities in Excel should not have any letters whatsoever or it will go funky on you. Insert, chart, scatter, boom. Okay, remember we had problems looking for the plus sign. It should have been automatic to begin with. In case it's gone, go to design, add chart element. It will make your lives easier. By the way, on top, you may choose the formatting of your graph. So you could go fancy, not so fancy, whichever one your cho uh, of your choice. But I'll go with the simple one. So plus sign axis labels okay make sure you know your independent dependent variable if you're not sure which one goes on the x or the y you need to remember dry mix dependent variable on the y axis manipulated independent variable on the x then once you have that the easiest probably to add would be the trend line trend line more options once you get there you need to go to the format trend line chart options you want linear and you need to find the one that says display equation on chart r squared value on chart once you get the equation you need to make sure that i can easily spot your equation and your r squared value from here you need to click the plus chart elements and then include the error bars. This is kind of where we were getting lost, so I'll make sure we got this right. You should have a horizontal uncertainty that matches the uncertainty of your molar solutions. Remember the rule of thumb according to Biotech, if you were sucky, it's plus or minus 0.05 mNaCl solution. If you were okay, plus or minus 0.03 mNaCl, if you are really really good and you don't think you screwed up in any way or fashion and you were very careful plus or minus 0 0.01 m nacl solution that would be your uncertainty for making those solutions now i'm gonna go the middle route so i'm gonna click this when i click the horizontal values over here more options again i need to go to the very bottom and click custom specify value and i'm just going to write plus or minus 0 0.03 for the middle ground okay just okay it'll act as your positive and your negative value click okay it's going to be pretty there it is this is the hardest one once you have calculated the average uncertainty for every single average percent change mass you're going to click this, and what you need to do is highlight. And then I did not click the error bars. So let me do that one more time. Click the vertical error bars. And once it goes to the format error bars, go down to the custom. Custom specify value. This is where you highlight. Boom. Boom. Okay. So if you double check, your error bar should be slightly different depending on how big, how small it was. All right. That should be good to go.